Hey, what's up? It's your girl Signature, aka Signature, that prima donna chick, and you are now tuned in to AllHipHop.com. To the mic, okay. What? What? The mask? Oh, I'll leave that shit on. Promote. Um, wearing the mask. I'll leave it right under the chair. <laughs> no, I'm leaving right under the chair. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're right. I'm just No, all right. So it started. You should get an All Hip Hop one then. I should. That's actually smart. I'm gonna put my logo on it, so I'll make you one. I, I take it now. Nah, I wear. I'm, no, I start wearing people's masks to promote their shit. <laughs> now, nah, you know what happened? Like, I started like taking pictures and stuff like that. And every time family members just be like, "Yo, wear your mask." <laughs> so I just be like, "Yo, fuck it." Every time I take a picture, every time I record it's something, under the bed. right under the bed. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's the worst, your man? Slap shot you here for allhiphop.com. Recording at One World Studios right here in the heart of Times Square. Right now, I have the East Harlem native. Please let the people know y'all. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Sigda Trig, a.k.a. The Signature, that prima donna chick. Got you. Got you. <laughs> smell amazing. Thank you. No, That's Stella McCarthy. You uh, can't get it from the stores uh, no more. You got to order it. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> look, at, look at that. That's fabulous shit. <laughs> that, yeah, all, all right, then. So what I want to do is, um, all right, then. So you say Sigda Trig, right? But your flex freestyle says Signature. So you have to let me know where we going. Well, Signature is my name. Mm. Sigda Trig is me as... The rapper. Mm -hmm. So Sig Signature Kiss is my brand, and they know me as Signature. So that's that's it. I changed my name and started going by Signature about two years ago, mm -hmm. um, because that's what people was calling me, and that was my Instagram name. So it's still Signature, mm -hmm. but Signature is when it's time to do the music. That's what they know me for. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, then. So um, we was chopping it up. You said you actually started your career. Like, here, this is one of the first studios that you record. And can you get yes. into that? Like, how you, um, how this begin for a signature? Or so I, um, I started working for Steve Raves. Mm -hmm. He used to work for All Hip Hop, and I was his assistant. And um, he told me to come down to the music building, which is here. Mm -hmm. And I came to the music building, and I seen Rich Dollars. Mm -hmm. And Rich Dollars at the time was managing Ryan Leslie and a girl named Chris Ivory. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and uh, Olivia. Mm. So he okay, wanted me, of course, that. to get them mm. on the site. He had me come upstairs. I got to meet Chris Ivory. And when I came upstairs, I met Un Uncut, you know, from Protect Your Heart. Mm. So I met him, and he was engineering at the time. And people didn't even know he engineers. Mm. So um, I told him I wanted to do music, and I did my first freestyle here. I did my first freestyle here. Ever since then, I've been doing music. I dropped out of college, mm -hmm. and I started doing music. Okay, got you. What, was the first freestyle good? Yes, the first freestyle was good. It was called 808. Okay, okay. I mean, because so, you know, a lot of people would be like, you know. I did the right. freestyle. Actually, I, I still perform the freestyle. My oh, you first still perform it? Yeah, I did it. I performed it in front of a lot of different people. So. Okay. okay. All right. Then. So, so when was the first time you was on the radio? The first time I was on the radio, rest in peace to my bro, Fred the Godson, is when I was on the hook of Daddy Get a Money. So we was at Blockwork Studios, Papers, Remo the Hitmaker, um, and Fred. And I didn't know Fred at the time. I came over to do a song with Remo. Um, and Remo was like, yo, I'm working with this artist, Fred. He's fire. Like, you need to listen to his shit. I went to go inside, and he heard a song that I was just doing with Remo. And he was like, yo, can you do this reference for me? He was like, I'm about to put Joel Otis on it. So I was like, all right, cool. Like, and he was like, I'm not going to use it. I was like, all right, fine. And that's, you know, like three weeks later, I heard it on the radio and Diddy was on it. And I was like, didn't you say Joel Otis was going to be in it? He was like, I got some surprises. Like, <laughs> that's some surprises. Yeah, I was like, was yo. Like, so at the time I used to work at um, this nightclub called Sin City. Mm. And I was a waitress over there. And they was, playing, yes, mm -hmm. they was playing. Yes. They was playing all of the dope ass songs coming out from the Bronx, especially. Mm. And I was in there. My song was being played. <laughs> I felt like that was my song because even though I had the my daddy yeah. getting money, my da I was like, yeah, I'm with. I got a song with Diddy <laughs> and Fred the Godson. So I always thanked him for that because even when we went to like clubs and parties, he would always shout me out and be like, "Yo, signature, that's her on the record." Um, and it was just like super dope. I didn't know much about the music game at the time because yeah. I was just at that time. I w that's when I was working for all hip hop, mm. and I was just like getting my feet wet with music and you know but i wasn't active i wasn't on the radio i wasn't you know 
trying to do videos and none of that stuff. I was just trying to figure out my sound. Mm. And I wound up landing a hook with Diddy and Fred the Godson. That's fun. And the song wound up being a super hit. So, you know, um, I just wanted to thank Fred the Godson for that. I want to say RIP to him. Rest and, peace. you know, my condolences to his, his daughters and wife that everyone, if you know Gordo, mm. you know he love his wife and his daughters, his yeah. girls, this is everything. So, you know, we love you. Mm. And I definitely want to bring in my bro Fonz, Fonzarelli, you know? Talk to me nice. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Fonz Figgis, conglomerate community, Shanghai Music Group, man. Brooklyn Monster, we out here. Herc's up. Iced out. Shout out to my nigga LS and Pote in the building, Sig, all hip hop, Wonder Studios. We outside on Quest. What's going on? Now, um, right to <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. Last time I seen Gordo, like, first of all, how I met the man was different. I met him through one of my homies sledge and he was um he was he had a he had a he had a group i i believe it's the gs boys uh uh the g5 boys the g5 boys he was um messing with them for a second had them lit and all that whatever the case may be they was they was real heavy moving around with fred so with sledgy you know what i'm saying and you know that was the bro you know what i'm saying he was heavy with the ices and shit with my set and we was just bros after that, like heavy on it, like the boy funny. But the last time I seen them was like right before he hit the hospital. And he was in this, he was at the dispensary gig, and he went to get wifey some weed. And if you know Gord though, you know he don't play with his lady and that bud for his lady. So he went to get the pay. He's like yo, he's like yo, bro, I gotta get the pack for my lady real quick. If you gonna stay with me, you know what I'm saying. I need you to stay with me. If you're going to go, I understand. But you know, I got to get this back with my lady. And I'm moving around. He with his little bro. Well, his older brother. And I didn't know that that was his. I didn't know that was his older brother. And I knew Duke. But he do security. So he's like, yo, that's my brother. I'm like, what? Like, that's my brother. Like, different. Like, that's how small of a world it is. And he was just like, yo, I love you, bro. I was like, I love you more. Then I got the call and. Me and Jaquay, shout out to Jaquay, you know what I'm saying, was real concerned about that shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit was a different feeling. That shit broke me up a little bit. I cried. I was on live when I got in and just started bawling. I still look at that for this to this day. But um, more so, sleep in peace, man. Gordo, man, we love you, man. Fred, man, there will never be another bar bender like yourself, homie. The Bronx is real proud of you. Hip hop is proud of you, and we all proud of you. We miss you, man. Shout out to his kids and his wife, man. We love you, man. For me and the conglomerate and all the homies, you already know the vibes. Okay, got you. All right, then. So, um, as far as um, sing the trick goes, um, you yeah, EP, I, I listen to it. Um, written in blood. Yes. Okay, then. So that's a, that's a dope name. Um, I like the vibe. Many different flows and things like that. How did go? How do you go about putting that together? Like especially around this time, like the pandemic and all that type of stuff. Well, I started on Written in Blood, uh, Written in Blood, two years ago, um, cause I take my time when I do projects, mm -hmm. and I started watching a show called Games of Thrones. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you're Game familiar of with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I consider myself Khaleesi, the, the, the queen of dragons, cause yeah. I spit that fire. <laughs> you know, and I control the fire. Now I'm just. <laughs> <waiting>. <laughs> so, um, but the main thing that stuck out to me in Games of Thrones. Because that's why, you know, I named my EP Written in Blood. Mm. It was supposed to be called um, something else. But I said Written in Blood because when watching Games of Thrones, I seen that everything that people was fighting for was their last name, uh. was their legacy. Mm -hmm. And they went to the blood with it. Like, mm. people would die. People would get hurt. Um, you know, so I just looked at it as this is what I'm doing in my career. Mm. Like, I'm putting everything into it. I'm putting my all into it. And... The outcome needs to be my legacy. Mm -hmm. You know, the outcome needs to be that my family is good, and who I'm, I'm writing this in my blood. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm putting my all into it. So mm -hmm. that's why I named it that. Oh, that's fire! That's dope. It made me think of the show on a positive <laughs> note because I hated them that last season so much. It, you learn a lot. I watch that show like it's Bible. Really? Yeah, I go back to episodes because you have to pay attention to like the things that they're saying. Mm -hmm. It may be back in the day their wording and everything, but mm -hmm. like when it comes to like running a kingdom, when it comes to like 
having people that work for you or working with people, mm. you'll learn a lot from Games yeah, of Thrones. They, yeah, they show you how to Try manage. Try to watch it a different way like, then. No, like I said, it. no, that was my, yo, <laughs> I was I was the first person I knew that was onto that show. I caught on like second season, you know, and nobody was on it the, the, um, the, for, um, for a long time, but it was just the last season was, ugh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, back to, um, you've made like a plenty of different moves in the city. Um, You have a long stand, been on reality TV many a time, love and hip hop, black ink and stuff like that. Um, As far as your career goes, so far you like 10 years of work are you satisfied with this so far with my 10 years of work yes. um i'm never satisfied mm-hmm. um am i proud of myself yes mm-hmm. i am because mm-hmm. the the goal is every year is to level up and just because i always say just because i don't look like or i don't meet the standards to everyone else's level up doesn't mean it's not my standards so like long as i remember starting off and people didn't even take me seriously of doing music i told them like yo i do music and they like yeah, we know you around music. We know you know. I always known everybody. I always been around it, been around the industry, but I never um, actually was the artist. So then when I started telling people, I'm an artist, I do this. And I mean, my first mm. song was played in all hip hop. Mm. And that's when people started taking me seriously. But they was like, nah, they must be just posting anybody now. <laughs> I was always that person. I was mm. always the artist. Like even when I went on Funk Flex, I was the first female to come up with no clout i had two thousand followers mm. um all i did was i told my followers mm. which was even though it was 2000 it was like a firm following mm. to hit up flex and tell them like bring me on the show and it worked and ever since that that's what a lot of artists do now mm. um you know i'm the fifth girl to ever be on there because before me was miss hustle remy ma lady luck and um young ma mm-hmm. these are all females with clout mm. i didn't have it so Everyone was just like, oh, you must have just be letting anybody come up here now. And that oh, wasn't so the it. Same I heard story. It. Yeah. yeah that, uh. So it's like now I'm starting to be respected. Like, yo, Sig is working. Like, Sig is dope. Like, like really people take paying attention because they know I put music out. They know I do certain things, but no one ever really listens to me mm. or get into like the potential that I have of being like this big superstar mm. because they probably either know me one way or it's just like it's so many people that's doing the same thing. They don't want to get into it, or they just don't see it. Mm. So, or hating, <laughs> but There's that you too. know, some that's too. But I try to mm. put that in a back burner. But you know, I'm very proud of myself because within ten years, I didn't let that stop me, that's and I fact. kept going. I let it motivate me, and I'm doing very well as an independent artist. Like I, I pay my bills through my mm. music. Like yeah. it may not. I'm not a yeah. multi-millionaire Listen, yet. She but said if her na- her name can't go on the flyer unless she get in a bag. Yeah, that's a bag a fact. She said that. You know, I was, I and I, I prove it all the time. Like <laughs> yeah. I'd be nice. Y'all can mm. still do stuff, but I just won't show up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact. So. Yo, um, all right. Well, you say you have all these daughters and things like that. How did that not eat at your confidence? Well, I'm a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we that run a jungle. <laughs> so, you know, that I mean, I'm used to it, though. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. used to being doubted. Believe it or not, it's, I always tell people it's a gift and a curse being beautiful. Mm-hmm. And it's a gift and a curse of being humble and beautiful. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, a lot of people think they come up to me and they think I'm dumb. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people just like automatically just think like I'm stupid. Like mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on. I don't know business. I don't know this. So it's like. I've always been the type that let me work harder. Mm. Let me let me be the person that shows that, like, let me surprise them. And I'm very great at becoming a chameleon. I can blend in anywhere. Mm-hmm. Be, and I went to school for international business, so it actually built my confidence, believe it or not, because now everywhere I go, I'm about money. Mm-hmm. I know how to get money. Okay. All right. So, so I'm going to holler at you. Cause I'm <laughs> so what are we... <laughs> nah, right. um, yeah, so, but um, besides that, you've also had like a lot of great mentors too, mm-hmm. right? So, um, so like some of the people that are some people that are deep into the industry. So, um, I don't want to just name drop and stuff like that. Feel free if you'd like to, but I mean, like, give me some good game you've that you've been name you know, drop. You've like the likes of Dame Dash and things like that. Mm-hmm. I've read that. Um, Steve Ray, um, from all oh, hip hop.com, stuff like that. But like, give me some gems that people have dropped on you and stuff like that along the way. Okay, so it's one gem that that's that sticks to me forever um i was it was told to me at 17 and it mm. was by dougie fresh mm. so i grew up around dougie fresh and his kids square off mm. and um i never forget he put three cups down because i was always one of the friends with the boys mm. and he'd be like yo you're all over the place you want to do everything but you're all over the place you used to get light no oh never okay, got light. i know like i'd be the time. person <laughs> booking the people to get like i've always been a business person okay, i've okay, always okay. been a person that they was like yo she's gonna be a manager or publisher oh, okay, okay, i was okay. moving like this at 16 17 already mm-hmm. so um he told me he put three cups down and he was like look 
I was doing three things at the time. I was my, I was a actual um, sign model. I was signed to Wilhelminas mm-hmm. at the time. So I was a model. I wanted to do acting, and mm-hmm. then I wanted to do music, but I wanted to be a singer. I never wanted to be a rapper. Mm-hmm. And um, he was like, fill up the cup, mm-hmm. and then try to put it into the other cup while this one's filling up. Mm-hmm. And my stupid stuff was sitting there really trying to do it. <laughs> And he was like, you, you can't do it, right? I'm like, nah. He's like, yeah, exactly. You have to fill up one cup, then go to the next one. Mm-hmm. You can't do everything at the same time. And I was like, no one never brought it, broke, broke it down to me like that. Mm-hmm. And it kind of stuck with me because I've always been a person that felt like, I looked up to J-Lo coming up mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. But J-Lo was one of the people that I looked up to for the simple fact that I felt like she did everything at once. Like she was like the first to me having like, you know, she was a dancer. She was an actress. She was a. Uh, she did music. Mm. She had a clothing line. She was doing all this stuff and while being super beautiful. And I said, "Why well, I can't do that?" Mm. Like she's a Leo like me. She's a person that that I'm watching with my own two eyes From do everything. Uptown. But I didn't know like it was some you know teams and all this extra mm-hmm. stuff. So I never understood doing one thing at a time. Uh. I always felt like don't put that on me because just because you have to do one thing at a time. Uh. So now I just cut it down to three things at a time now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I, I just, you. I just, cause you know, I'm a person that I, I multitask. That's mm. how I work. That's mm. why I can get hired. That's why I'm a person that will get booked mm. and all that because I can multitask and make things happen. Mm. Um, and those are the, yo, you know, you're multi-billion and trillionaires. I don't know if it's a multi-trillionaire, but. No, there's not yet. Maybe but Bill Gates is about to hit that. Maybe, uh, maybe yeah. I could be a first. <laughs> no, <laughs> I mean, um, that makes sense. I mean, like, it, can't would you rather be a jack of all trades or a master of none you know even when j-lo she came out as a dancer Mm -hmm. then moved to the acting and then i remember when first when people first said like she's about to drop an album it was like selena was cool you know but let's stick to that and then you know if you if you have my love just came out was a smash and then Mm -hmm. no more doubt is you get what i'm saying so i mean that's that's dope to um to get it put to you like that you know it makes you want to reorganize what you want yeah that's a fact all right but what are the three things that you focus on you have your music i know you have the cosmetic line Mm -hmm. um what's the third um i have a show called paint the city city okay paint so let the people know what that is so Paint the City Siggy is a show. Um, you see how you just asked me a question about advice and stuff? Mm-hmm. So a lot of people always ask me that. And I said, let me come up with a show that y'all can see me around these people. And it's questions that I'm going to ask them. But at the same time, you're gonna, we're going to do a day in the light. And you, um, you see the things that we talk about. You see the advice. You, give, you see like how I'm around these people and how mm-hmm. I'm interacting. Mm-hmm. And also, um, hold on, let me uh-huh. get. So I have... My boy wonder with the props. I have my <laughs> first write up. Mm-hmm. This you. magazine is called First Reform Self, right? And First Reform Self was created by my brother, my brother Andrew Campos. And um, he did a write up on me and Jim Jones because Jim Jones is the first guest on the show. And this show is going to be a 90 minute show. I'm not going to get too, too much into details of what it is because we have to, like, mm, condense this. you yeah. know? Yeah. But mm-hmm. it's going to be a 90-minute show. We're going to have a lot of different guests in it. And the main thing is me coming around everybody that I be around and the questions that y'all may have or how is it being around and what is some things y'all talk about, you will be able to see that on this show because I'm going to different cities getting advice from people that's already on but also they're going to be giving advice to people that's trying to get to that level Mm -hmm. and they're going to be tapping into like poverty tapping into to the the prisons and you know things that's going on because everyone knows someone that's locked up Mm -hmm. everyone knows someone that's doing music that's just the world we live in right now so paint the city siggy we're going to basically be giving them you know the spotlight. Mm-hmm. All right. I I get Siggy with that. So what I did there. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. All right, they're cool. So I so with all of the, with all these things going on, when do you find time for music, man? Because music is a grind in itself. I mean, I do music every day, all day. I mm. wake up in my studios in front of my bed. Mm. So I have a home studio. Um, I mean, I think the biggest the biggest question that people want to know because I don't have a nanny, I don't have any that. I'm a mother. Mm. I'm also a wife. Mm-hmm. So when do I have time for that? No, flash ring, I'm flash always ring, working. You know, her ma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always working. Mm-hmm. So you know, with me, I tell people I don't really sleep. 
Mm. I get about three to four hours of sleep a day. Mm. Um, I just make sure that I'm 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 lying. I don't eat right that much. <laughs> I really don't eat right. Mm. I mean, I, I guess I'm just blessed. I can't, I, I can't lie. I can't lie and say, hey, I, I get this amount of sleep. I work. I don't work out. Um, mm. I guess walking up four flights every day is working out maybe. But <laughs> Get your Apple Watch. <laughs> you I tell you. Yeah, 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 you. Right. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just blessed. But at the same time, I'm just determined. I say that's what it is. I'm mm. very determined. I have a goal and I want to finish it. Mm. And after I finish that goal, I want to start on another I'm goal. I'm never satisfied. Okay. So what I you do is. You don't sleep in between the goals? No. Nah. I mean, sometimes you will catch me nodding off in the studio, but then I'm back up. <laughs> okay. Remember, I told you I was just sleep. <laughs> so I find I find time um, to to put in a power nap, but at the same time, I'm just like, I I literally it's to the point that I gotta like start finding time, but I'm always working. Mm. Like I'm literally always mm. working. Like I have to schedule time with family mm. because I'm trying to change my legacy like mm. i'm trying to change it from being in poverty and being because that's my my family's poor mm -hmm. so i'm i'm the way out i'm the person that's going to like change their life i'm the mm. one that's it stops like i'm if you if you was to have an arrow i'm the sharp part in the front that hits the wall yeah, and the, the stick part up. is my family they don't get touched okay trying to change them to the lannisters yes yeah, so i'm trying to, you know, <laughs> the lannisters, right? so it's like i'm trying to make sure that um I work these young bones so that the future of my family and my last name means something. That's fine. And I don't mind doing it. Uh, respect so, that. Uh -huh. All right. All right. So this um, signature cosmetic line, it's the Signature Kisses, mm -hmm. I believe it's, it's called? It's called Signature Kisses to help kiss away poverty and insecurities amongst the youth. Oh, that's fine. Because when you look good, you feel good. Yeah. And the youth is our future. We got to protect our future. Mm. And, um, like, what I do is I tell people all the time, makeup don't make you beautiful. Mm. Makeup enhance your beauty. You're already beautiful. Mm. So you might find something, let's say a blemish that you don't like. Maybe your eyebrows is not cut right. Maybe mm. your lips or your face is breaking out on something. The mm. makeup is just there to like help substitute. Mm. It's not going to make you beautiful because beauty comes from the inside. When you ever met someone that just wasn't that good looking, but because of their personality, it was just like, no, nah, I kind of see something like mm. I so that's what I want to push with my makeup line. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's just going to enhance what you're trying to look like, mm -hmm. how you're trying to feel. Because when th this is all of a all a feeling. Mm -hmm. When you look good, you start feeling like you accomplish anything. Like, yeah. listen, oh, shit, I just got my hair cut. I'm about to go outside and see mm -hmm. what's out, who outside. Mm -hmm. You know, like, that's basically what um, my mission is. Mm -hmm. Right now I have a website. It's called The Signature Kiss. Yeah. Um, dot com and you know we're I done fashion week mm -hmm. for six years in a row Congrats. um I had people like Kim Kardashian wear my stuff Natasha Kill I had um um Iggy, Iggy Azalea mm -hmm. wear my stuff um dang there's so many people Laput Lapute I love you I'm so <laughs> sorry I love you <laughs> the pute. Uh, I don't know how to say the <laughs> name correctly, but I love you. Uh, I mean, but, yeah, but so the bottom line, what I've learned from this is that it's not the makeup that makes you look good, ladies. It's your personality mm -hmm. and how much liquor I'm drinking. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. No, okay. That's, that's dope. But what made you want to get into um thing to makeup? Because people always say that I'm pretty. <laughs> So I said I went. I said I like how I feel when people say that, and I want. I'm always doing stuff because I want people to feel how I feel. Uh -huh. That's why I make music. Mm. I want people to go to sing the trig and like listen. I want to feel lit right now. I want to feel. Let me put her on. Mm. Uh, I just broke up with my nigga. I want to put her on. I just broke up with my chick. I want like every type of feeling. I want you to come to sing the trig mm. from looks to listening to everything. Mm. And I'm just trying to be that type of entertainment in your life. That's fine. That's good. Uh, it, uh, so so cool. Um, so right now you're on um Hot Night Seven Heavily. You getting spent? Let the people. Thank know God. Oh my yeah, God. it's been work, right? So, Thank but let God. The people know the, let the people know the single and how they can get it and stuff like that. So my single is R and D. It's produced by R G, the producer, and it's featuring I Rock. Um, and shout out to Funk Flex because y'all don't understand. For the past two years since I even was on Funk Flex, mm. every week I make music and I send it to him mm. and I get no response. Uh -huh. And he called me the day I dropped that and was like, how do I pronounce your name correctly again? What's the name of the single? And then he just hung up on me and that's, you know, it's been on the radio. That's fine. So I was just like, yo, that shows that being consistent 
and just like believing in yourself should have happened because what if I would have sat there and like, fuck that, he's not playing, mm. he's not playing none of my stuff, so mm. why am I sending him anything? Mm. And look, yeah. he still played it and he's continuing to play because there's other DJs that play my stuff, but they don't play it consistently. Like he's mm. playing me three times out of the day. Mm. So, you know, like that's a blessing to me for the simple fact that I own my publishing and my masters. Mm. So, <laughs> you know, about your I'm business. happy. About your business, yeah, that's a fact. So everything is profit. Everything right, is profit. Right, that's right. a fact. All right, then, so. Um, you're from um East Harlem, so this is gonna be an interesting. Well, I was born in Brooklyn, raised in East Harlem. That's a fact. So, um, top five dead or alive. That's a question we have to. That's the customary question for all of us. We have to ask top five dead or alive. Okay. No order, guys. No, okay, no, no order, because I d- I don't have the order. Mm. So, Sig the Trick, um, Biggie Smalls, Jay Z, Eminem. One more. Just five? One more. Drake? Drake. I mean, you guys cool. Little Wayne Drake? Little <laughs> Wayne got to come before Drake. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, but I can't even pass Little him. Wayne? Drake? Shit. It's, um, one, it's, it's one of the other it's interchangeable hard. certain days. We're going to do week. six. We're going to do six. All right. Because cool. my name's Sig. Uh, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Six for six. <laughs> All right. I got you. Um. So are we expecting any more work from you for 2020? Yes, of course. Mm. Um, I've been dropping a single every Friday. Mm-hmm. And um, I have my documentary that I'm dropping. So yeah, you guys will most likely be able to see a preview to it before 2021. Mm-hmm. Um, but it will be dropping on my birthday, August 1st, 2021. Mm-hmm. So my documentary on my whole come up, going all the way back to when I was in the Google Me video with Tiana Taylor. Mm-hmm. And Super Sweet 16 and... You sure you didn't get light? I never got <laughs> light, yo. I never got... I was always a friend that didn't really know how to dance like that. Like, oh, okay, I was always okay, okay, like... Okay. Even when we went to the club and, you know, my friends was dubbing, hmm. I was a friend holding my friend up. You know, <laughs> she was bent over. I was holding her because everybody wants to dance with me and I was like, no. I oh, I saw so you wasn't stuck. She just couldn't dance. No, I know how to dance. I just was stush probably. Oh, you was just stush. <laughs> I just, but I didn't know how to light feet. Oh, okay. I okay. didn't know how to do that. I was left that for the professionals. Yeah, <laughs> I was a, you know, I didn't do that. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, I bet. But shout out to Tati B and all them that did like you know the yeah. Princess of Harlem. That's a face. I thought you know Mr. YouTube Crybaby and all them Jaque aka Crazy Legs because you know y'all know him as Jaque first, but that was the get like king too. Crazy legs. Really? That was his name. Crazy legs. No, you just you, you educated yeah. me. You put me on. Oh man. So. Yeah, I mean, um, I love that part of Harlem. Um, uh, I be around one two fifth and Lex and all that. Um, oh, you be with the zombies? Yes, I love it there. I do enjoy you it because it, it it reminds me of what Walking uh, Dead. When New, York, when New York used to be like no. back in the ni- early nineties mm-hmm. and stuff. That's yes. how the Bronx used to be. <laughs> that's not. That's not how Harlem. That's how the, if you go to the, the the documentaries, that's what the Bronx look like. <laughs> What's in 125th? Right 125th, now? I don't know like how they yeah. moved across the bridge. <laughs> but they're here. But they're, they're, they're there. They're there. They are there. They and are, they are there. active. <laughs> yeah, very. I, I, I remember one time I came through and somebody just blatantly asked me, Do you have heart? I was like, Whoa. Yeah, what, they're, what, they're so confident. They'll talk to the, yeah, they'll like, talk to the what, cops like that. Yeah, they'll go no. to the cops and be like, Do you have. <laughs> like, not, what are you on this block for then? I know people that live here. Oh my God. You can't even walk the block. They done took over Pathmark, got it closed down. Yeah, yeah, all like, yeah, yeah, oh man, this so yeah, shout out to the whole east side, man. Um, got you. So, before we get out of here, um, I just want to um let you know, um, everybody up, uh, everybody knows you. I told everybody I had sick coming in today. One was like, Oh, I said, No, sick. Chuck was like, Oh, yeah, sick. No, sick. Yeah, so I just want to <laughs> let you know, obviously, you're doing something right. Um, a lot of Thank dope you. people know you, so um, you want to come up? Appreciate you, Queen. Thank you. And I come. love all hip hop because y'all like. Y'all are part of my career. Y'all don't even understand. Because, mm. like, honestly, I met a lot of people in the industry off of working or hip-hop. Like, I, I remember my first big thing was when 50 Cent dropped before I self-destruct. And mm. he did the movie premiere on 30th Street. Mm. And I was sitting in the front. And I got to witness, with my own two eyes, Slow Bucks take Joel Santana to 
um, Lloyd Banks. Mm-hmm. They squashed a situation and they went into the studio that night and made Beamer's Benz and Bentley. Beamer Benz yeah. and Bentley. You've been around. Yo, you've yes. had, you got stories. So I got, sto- you got but some it started stories. from all hip hop because I was just the girl that was like, I wanted to do this. I mm-hmm. wanted to interview people and they was like, no assistant. Get get the you know mm. I, I respected it yeah. because look at me now right and that's a fact. so it's like oh, that's a fact. so that's it's inspirational. like that's but dope. I but mm. all hip hop literally was behind a lot of that because I used to like I remember like interviewing artists like Saigon and Math mm. and Math and Alpha all, yeah it's like mm. all these different mm. people and I'm like damn now I'm the artist like it, so I love feel? y'all yo I reverse shit I, I feel good but I still feel like sometimes. You know, I'm gonna just say this. Uh, I'm the new. I'm. I'm the. Seriously, you got the camera on me. Uh, uh, we looking right at you. <laughs> <laughs> 4K. <laughs> I'm letting y'all know now. 2020. Mm. I am the new female Diddy, aka Sylvia Rome. I will soon, as soon as I get to where I need to get to mm. in a few months, I will be signing the dopest artists, and I'm even going into labels, and I'm gonna be taking the dopest artists. That is my future. Mm. I'm not saying it's gonna happen this year, next year, stuff. So. Mm. But that's what I'm working towards. So y'all remember y'all heard it first on all hip hop that I would be the biggest mogul. I'm just starting as an artist. Just filling one cup. And the great thing, mm. it filling in one cup, right? Mm. The great thing is that I actually know how to do music. So my artist that's gonna come out. Mm. But shout out to all hip hop because y'all just got the exclusive. It may happen in like ten years, but yeah. you know, signature no records <laughs> soon come. Signature records. Yeah. No, that's not. I'm, no, I wouldn't put. The, we, I wouldn't no, we already you, got don't put, the. Don't put no, the name out yet. No, no, we got the LLC already. It's oh, called oh, MIG Records. What, what does it stand for? Milan Alia Garden High, my daughter name. Oh, yeah. So sweet. she has her first LLC, her first le- yeah. record label. She gonna be rich forever. Rich forever <laughs> so she gonna fun. be a rich kid like NBA young boy. Okay, let people know how to get in contact <laughs> with you, Queen. So you can follow me on on Instagram or social medias. Um, Sigdatrick S I G D A T R I G. You can catch me working with Quarantine Studios with Jim Jones. Um, so if you're looking for more music from me and just stay tuned. I have a lot going on. Love you. Uh, <laughs> Allhiphop.com, man. One World Studios, we out. <laughs>